Hey, this is EJ Brad from EJ Brad and Kai, and welcome back to the EJ Brad and Kai channel. We are here today in our Black History Moments, and we have recently lost a precious jewel January 28th, 2021. Such a talented and regal woman. For Black History Month, we are celebrating the iconic Cicely Tyson. She was born December 18, 1924, in Harlem. She was raised by religious Caribbean parents. Now, in her early years, she attended the Barbara Watson Modeling School in Manhattan, landing many local shoots. She eventually started earning about $65 per hour, which was pretty good for that time, and was on the cover of Vogue and Harper Bazaar magazines. She also caught the eye of an Ebony Magazine editor and with her dark, rich, and exquisite beauty, she quickly became the face of many black magazines as well, such as Ebony and Jet. Now in 1957, she started acting in a few off-Broadway productions. And within that decade, she continued acting in small roles and before being featured in the 1968 film, The Heart is a Lonely Hunter. Miss Tyson received many nominations and accolades over the years, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress in the 1972 critically acclaimed movie, Sounder. And that was such a wonderful movie. If you haven't seen it, please make sure that you go and catch that movie. 1972, she was on fire at that time. Now, as a child back in 1974, she I remember watching this interesting movie about a slave named Jane Pittman, who at the age of 110 made a brave historic walk, slow walk to an all white water fountain that she wasn't allowed to drink out of just to have a drink. But she didn't care. She was Miss Jane Pittman. She was old, 110, and she wasn't worried about that. Now, this Sissy Tyson portrayed Miss Pittman in the iconic film, The Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, where she won not one, but two Emmy Awards for the brilliant performance, and with, she was the first African-American actress to re receive an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Television Movie. Now, Ms. Tyson made an oath to herself that she would only portray strong African-American women, and she made sure that she kept her promise and her legacy in her performances. Her outstanding roles in historic miniseries Roots as Benta, Kuta Kente's mother, where, where during filming, she lost her own mother as well, and she channeled that energy, that pain, into her portrayal of Benta. And Miss Coretta Scott King, also the wife of Dr. Martin Luther King, in the iconic film King, about his life as a minister and all the way up to his death. Now, whatever role she played, whether big or small, her impact was noticeable, and you were drawn into her characters. You just couldn't keep your eyes off of them. One of my favorites is her role in the fabulous and underrated miniseries, The Women of Brewster's Place, where she portrayed Mrs. Brown, the mother of Kiswana, who was played by Robin Givens. In a short but powerful scene, Mrs. Brown schools her daughter about the importance of being true to yourself and your culture, not just by changing your name to an African name, <laughs> That's what she did in the movie. Um, she also snapped at Kiswana when she told her that she was stuck up and bougie. Miss <laughs> Tyson takes no punches and makes no mistakes in that performance. So if you haven't seen it, please see The Women of Brewster's Place. Now here's some things about Miss Tyson that you might not know. She was married to famed musician Miles Davis from 1981 to 1988. And that was her second marriage. Now, she was married previously to Kenneth Franklin from 1942 and to 1956. And they have one child together. Now, she also co-founded the Dance Theater of Harlem, the famous Dance Theater of Harlem, with Arthur Mitchell. 
She was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in August 1997. She also was inducted into the Black Filmmakers Hall of Fame in 1977, excuse me. And she is pictured on a $3.25 postage stamp in her parents' Caribbean island of Nevis. Sissy Tyson was such a beautiful, talented, and well-respected entertainer known all around the world. In my opinion, she was an epitome of regal black beauty. Now, shortly before her death, she had just released her memoir, Cicely Tyson, Just As I Am, and had started promotion for the book. Miss Cicely Tyson, an American historical legend, and we miss you dearly. Rest in peace. And thank you for watching this Black Historical Moment. And I'm E.J. Brad from E.J. Brad and Kai. Like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Take care. Wait, hold on one minute. You're not done yet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also follow us on Instagram and Twitter.